Hi, welcome to Wednesdays with Winnie. I am Winnie Dunn, Distinguished Professor of Occupational Therapy at the University of Missouri. We call our school Mizzou. The faculty at Mizzou are doing really interesting research and you can learn about that work in presentations and publications. Wednesdays with Winnie are designed to highlight evidence-based teaching tips that Mizzou faculty have found to be great options for professional education. They will be quick. You can watch during a, talk, during a coffee break, and then you can discuss with a peer how you will move away from lectures and into engaged learning. Today, we're going to talk about using pretests as a learning tool. A traditional pretest contains material that the students will be learning. Faculty sometimes use pretests to mark the students' baseline learning. Then at the end of the unit, faculty can gauge how much the students actually learned. We're going to expand the idea of pretests today. First, pretests used in any way alert the students about what they will be learning. The mere act of reading a pretest question plants a seed in the students' minds that can be nurtured in course projects and activities. That's a great place to begin. There are more ways to involve the students in this pretesting process that can deepen their learning even more. Begin a class session with a test question that covers material from a prior session. After they write their own responses, give them a few minutes to discuss their answers with a small group of peers. When the students remember the last building blocks, they will be more ready to learn the new material of the day, especially when you take a few moments after the test question to link the two topics together. If you don't want to use a test question, ask the students to open their notes and find three important ideas from the last session. Then have them discuss with peers, providing their rationale for picking these ideas. As you begin the new content, solicit a few of the important ideas and build a bridge to the new material to come. Don't worry, you know your material well enough to make these links right on the spot. To prepare for the last two ideas, you can also end class by having students write a test question from the current day's work. And you can use those items yourself as you open future class sessions. Across time, you will have a repository of thoughtful questions to use in other ways to foster deep thinking. When we link materials across time, we illustrate the importance of understanding not just facts, but also relationships between ideas. This ability forms the basis for solid critical thinking. In which class will you implement pretests as a learning tool? Who will you tell about this strategy? See you next time. You can find more resources at our website.